Welcome back to a brand new video guys, my name is Timmy the Toy Time King and I did not expect a double upload but the circuit finals between Keita and Megazord has finally begun and yeah, we've been waiting for this battle for quite a while now and yeah, it's good that we finally get to see these guys fight it out I think it's the best of three uh, Fortunately, I don't have anyone commentating with me like, the, it would have been nice uh, Give me a second, just in case yeah, it would have been nice to have someone commentate like Specs, Specs or someone on like the Discord group chat there. But oh well, we'll see how this goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content, PE content. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting video. Uh, it's finally begun. Megazard leads off with Persian and Kato leads off with Mesprit. So here, uh. Probably this is defensive Mesprit here, trying to get out some spikes. Uh, the usage drops haven't affected anything, so Keita is still able to use Toge here, I'm assuming. So this is probably defensive Mesprit with uh, Stealth Rocks, and yeah, goes for the Taunt, which is obvious, but Keita probably saw that coming, so he went for U-turn, but obviously Megazard here is running uh, Rocky Helmet, Persian Alolan here, which is quite nice. Uh, punishing physical uh, contact attackers, because... Uh, these are the, it is kind of bulky defensive like blanket mon, so like it's able to take physical attacks pretty well due to its ability and then obviously punish physical attackers for trying to attack it. So now Kato has the option of going into something that obviously can beat Persian. Uh, Frostlass wouldn't do too well and Crawfish wouldn't do too well because they just get taunted and Frostlass does have a type disadvantage. But Obviously, I, I'm not Kato, so I don't know. But he said he's actually going to bring standard teams. Like, he told me he wasn't going to bring memes when I spoke to him a couple of days ago. But, yeah. I don't know what he does here, to be honest. Uh, Hitmonchan is probably the best way of forcing Persian out of a parting shot. I'm guessing. But, obviously, he's a Megazard's going to be able to get in uh, pretty much anything that can deal with Hitmonchan here. That could be Silver Valley Fa Fairy or... Ghost or the viable forms at least I'm gonna assume is like Silver Valley uh, Fairy maybe I have no idea but yeah yeah so as I expected Kato to do to force out the Persian with a uh, Hitmonchan because obviously none of these other mons really force this mon out and Kato can't get any like momentum from the game so Hitmonchan was probably his best idea to bring out against Persian so Megazard, I'm just gonna assume he's gonna go for a parting shot here. Who wouldn't go for a parting shot here? You don't, you never stay in against a Hitmonchan, especially if he's like an offensive Hitmonchan set, like Life Orb or something. Because uh, this is his only hazard removal, because he is probably going double spikes, stealth rocks. So having Defog on a team like this wouldn't really help like his team at all. So this is probably his only rapid spin. So he does bring out Coalfish here, and obviously Megazard forced to go for the parting shot there. So, unless he brings out, like, nothing on his team can instantly just force Crawfish out. So, I think Kato does want to get Spikes up here. So, uh, yeah. Who does he bring out here? I have no idea. Uh, Sand Slash, maybe, because that's looking like a Megazard removal as well with Rapid Spin. So, they're both going for Rapid Spin. But, he brings out Victory Bell here. And, uh... Obviously, Victory Bell gets out sped, but we'll see what Victory Bell set this is. I'm assuming uh, Strength Sap, uh, a Strength Sap set, because that one does get that move. So, he's not going to be going for damage like Jab. Jab won't be doing too much damage if Kato is running Jab, because of the minus attack drop. But he does go for the spikes, and Crawfish just get bopped pretty hard. So, he is running a special Victory Bell set, and... Vic like, everyone underestimated Victory Bell's damage. Like, this thing has, like, this thing has, like, freaking 100 base for attack, especially with 130 base power Lee Storm. So now, he brings out Frost Slash, his second spike, I'm assuming, and he's probably going to try and get more spikes up. Victory Bell can't do anything here, because obviously he's at minus 2, and he does have a type disadvantage. So, this is Kato's chance to get three spikes, but I don't see what Mon actually abuses the spikes. On his team, to be honest, like trying to, he doesn't have any like wall breakers or anything to abuse those spikes. So I don't know uh, about that, to be honest. Like you'd think that he'll run them on like Kangaskhan if he's going like double spikes. So like 
the enemy gets like chipped or so the wall breakers can just do their jobs easier but yeah i don't i don't know about that anyways aurorus gets willowist here and that doesn't obviously mean anything to aurorus because it's a special attacker but uh obviously megazard is if this is a spec set he's running like hp like rock or yeah hp rock you don't really run ancient power because of the pp store but yeah if he's running hp rock that's going to do a decent damage to frost Earth. and i don't know what the switching is here because i'm assuming that might actually be assault vest in one chan but he does go for the hp rock which does a decent amount of damage but he does get disabled there as you can see this is a sub hex i said sub hex uh, willow is hex and uh, he got disabled which is actually quite bad because if he's uh, locked in then he's forced to struggle so megazard unfortunately getting the uh cursed body disabled there so he's probably forced to swap out here but who's he going to go out into exactly i have no idea but i do think he has to swap out here because he's locked in because i think that's bulky last you know uh max hp because that actually took that pretty well but uh, as you can see guys i was watching some hollow knight uh, but yeah, Frostlass, I can't spell, Bulky Spikes is max HP against uh, Specs Aurorus, assuming this is Specs, oh, so that actually gets one shot, so maybe that's not Specs, that might be Scar, actually, that might actually be Scar, so Scar took, Scar took 69, so that is Scar for Aurorus there, fortunately he does miss the Willow, it's not that, I'm not sure that matters or not, because this thing does like to run foul play, but I'm not too sure foul play gets affected by burn. So, yeah, that is Scarf Aurorus there. Just looking at that damage. Assuming he's running a uh, bulky last because that took that pretty well. And the counts are quite similar. So, yeah. I wonder if K-Top realizes that's a Scarf Aurorus. But, yeah, I do think that's a Scarf Aurorus that Megazard's running. This is going to be a good series, I can just tell this is going to be a good series. Uh, a lot of people uh, are going to... Yeah, it's getting 29 people watching and I'm going to be covering it for you guys because I am the PE YouTuber. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and if there's obviously breaks in between. They obviously think about their next move. This, this is probably for one of the most important matches that they're playing and obviously you need to make the right choices or else it's not going to benefit you. So if this if there's like two minutes like between like them making their moves but it seems like Keita makes the offensive play and sort of down to hit Monchan and judging by that damage uh not I'm not too sure how much that Will O Wisp missed mattered depending on how much damage that did to Chan but that is twenty eight which is quite bad. Well K uh Megazard is running the fighting checks, uh Victory Bell and Crawfish. Uh so he is backing up the three mons that are weak to fighting on his team, Aurorus, Alola Slash and Persian Alolan. So yeah. Megazard's got a pretty good team there and I think it does have a tad bit better matchup against K Touch team right here. So yeah, we'll just see how that goes. He's gonna swap out to Victory Bell straight away and he does go for Thunder Punch, revealing he is uh running Thunder Punch A V set. Uh I'll be shocked to see if he's running four punches because he does need hydro removal on his side. But I did kind of assume he's running rapid spin. So it seems like he has nothing. He is trying to aim to hit the jelly, uh, jelly scent and cool fish. But he can't really touch Victory Bell here too much with his fighting attacks. Then Victory Bell is probably going to get off a strength sap or some sort against anything that comes in so it can just heal itself. But it doesn't seem like K Tot's getting any momentum up with his spikes because cool fish got bopped and. He brings out Toga Maru here, and he goes for Sludge Bomb, which is... I'm not sure if he was expecting the Sludge Bomb, but he was expecting something, and he brought out Toge to, uh against a Victory Bell, so I don't know what he was expecting there. Maybe a Leaf Storm, try and burst down the Hitmonchan. And then he doubles out into Mesprit here, and he goes for Strength Sap, which heals him up as... He could have gotten Strength Sap that turn, and then maybe you turned into Mesprit, I don't know. But, you know, Mesprit's in now. And Victory Bells get checked here, so probably either Persian or Lola Slash is the switch in here. But obviously, K Tut's gonna. Oh, but Megazard goes for the Grassium Z, and I expected the Victory Bell to actually have the Z move because I actually have seen this set before 
uh, with strength up. So Megazard has taken out K-Tot's second one, Mesprit, and uh, it's not looking too good for K-Tot here. The Victory Bell is putting in some work against his team, and uh, yeah. So Frostlass comes in now, and uh, obviously, yeah, it's, it's not looking too good for K-Tot in this game. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I think Megazard has the upper hand here. I kind of had a feeling that this was going to be Z-Move Victory Bell, and I was correct to assume that, and now Mesprit's gone. Like, this Mon is actually pretty solid. I want more people to use it, but he goes for Ice Beam, and that actually does enough damage to take out the Persian. So, Keita has taken down Megazard's first Mon, which is quite nice. Uh, so, if I was Megazard, who would I bring out here? Uh, I have no idea. Who I'd bring out here. So he has revealed Willow with Hex, Ice Beam, and his last move is probably Spikes. Uh, depending on what Silvelli form that is, maybe. But yeah. But it's an interesting game. I'm, I'm liking this game. Like commentating over this game. Like commentating over live games is actually pretty nice to do. I, I'm liking this quite a bit. Not gonna lie. But yeah. It's quite good. But shout out to Megazard for the solid team. Victory Bell's putting in the work. I. I I do like that, I do like that. So, oh, the time is actually pretty late. It's like, it's already free. Wow. Now I'm just here recording the games. <laughs> Man, this video is going to be actually be long. Or I'll just cut into like three parts. First part, obviously, this game. The first part, this game. Second part, depending on who wins. Because if Megazord does win game one, uh, then if he wins game two, then there only be two parts. But... If Keita wins, uh, if Megazard wins this, Keita wins the next one, then I have three parts. But, uh, Keita, I'm not saying Keita won't win, but it's still, uh, still a chance of win winning, obviously. So, Megazard taking a bit of time to one day's next move, because to be honest, what does he actually have to bring out into Frostless? Like, Rose could potentially finish off Frostless, but he, oh, he actually does reveal the Silvadi Dragon here, so I was not expecting Silvadi Dragon. But obviously, uh, I don't know what Silver Valley Dragon is going to accomplish here. Because it's bulky last, I don't... Does Silver Valley Dragon die to an Ice Beam? Most likely not. So, uh, maybe he's just trying to get a P shot in or Defog just to get rid of that one spike. I have no idea what he's going to plan on doing uh, with the Silver Valley Dragon. But, k might go for the attack here. Just to get this thing down to a low enough HP. Hitmonchan maybe try and revenge kill things because... It's a shame that the two fighting checks are so prominent. Like, you can take out Coalfish with Thunder Punch, but Victory Bell is the main problem. Because if those two are gone, then Keita has a chance of winning. But I don't know how he's going to get rid of them, to be honest. Uh, especially Victory Bell. I don't have any idea how he's going to get rid of that. My idea is just to try and get it down with the Scarf to really go for the Iron Head. Maybe get some potential flinches. I have no idea. But the only way I see Keita going to get a win this game is probably gonna uh try and get rid of the fighting checks so that does a decent chunk of silver valley dragon here and he does go for a flamethrower so he does get disabled there but that doesn't really matter so frost Ash is down as well and k is down to half of his team here uh i have no idea who you can bring out here but uh him on channel the mark punch toge with the outspeed and just gonna go for iron head probably does enough damage to ku silver valley dragon here uh, I'm going to check some calcs quickly just to see what type of set he could be running. I'm assuming max special attack, max speed, just dodging, uh, judging from that damage. Uh, Ice Beam. Ice Beam did around... How much did Ice Beam do, actually? Ice Beam did 60, so he got the maximum roll, so he is max HP, Frost Dust, and he is running offensive, so as a dragon. So, now he's brought in Persian here, and he's going for Dark Pulse, which crit. Uh... I don't know if that mattered. Again, time to check some calculations here. Uh, Dark Pulse. Uh, Dark Pulse on no special attack. Uh, he's definitely running some spectacular investment for sure, because that's zero uh, special attack or uh, special attack minus nature. So either he's running timid instead of timid instead of uh, Adam uh, Jolly. So we're gonna check that. 21 to 25, so he's definitely running some uh, spectacular investment on that Persian for that to do enough damage to Silver Valley Dragon. 
excuse me. So, well, like, yeah, so I, he's running offensive Persian, which is actually quite nice compared to Megazard's uh, defensive bulkier Persian, which is quite interesting. K tot being K tot to the end. Uh, what do you call it? Trying to run interesting sets no matter what. That's what I like about this guy. He's always willing to innovate in PU, which is quite nice to see. But victory bar was at 88. This thing can actually do a lot of damage. So he is probably offensive. We'll see how much Dark Force can actually do. Unless he wants to P shot into Hitmonchan. Because I'm assuming, again, that's a sort vest. So it won't take too much damage. And then the storm will make it even minus more. And then at that point, he's pretty much forced to go into Quillfish. And then uh, Hitmonchan can get off some juicy damage on that Quillfish. So I think that's Katert's play if he has a uh, parting shot. Because you might go for the storm here. Or any one of your moves, to be honest. Uh, it would be nice for Megazard to go Lee Storm, K Top, Part and Shots, and then brings out Hitmonchan, which I'm assuming is Assault Vested. He's forced to. No, but you don't force Vic. Uh, you kind of do actually, because you actually don't get any damage, and you just get free damage against the Victory Ball. So, yeah, I do think Megazard is going to be forced to for uh, swap out if that uh, series of events do happen. But, anyways, uh, it seems like they're both making their moves here. Uh, let me send the guy the link. Okay, cool. So he brings out Toge here, and that takes it quite well, actually. So he actually does P-Shot here into Toge instead of Hitmonchan here, which was the play to P-Shot into something, to be honest, but I just saw it a different way. But yeah, he's at minus uh, three. Yeah, he's at minus three. So he could get the U-turn here, but again, the U-turn, uh, U-turn into what exactly? Because Megazard is going to swap out here. Either Quillfish, he or U-turn. I'm seeing this so much differently, I can't even explain my thought process right now, I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, I'm getting overwhelmed a bit. But yeah, we'll see what happens here. This game's gonna be pretty good. This game's gonna be pretty good. Oh man, I'm going out late as well. Hopefully, I have enough time to cover this match, cause uh, this series, cause I really want to. Don't wanna, I don't want it to be incomplete. But at least I've, if I'm getting content out, it'll be fine. I can probably do like replays of the other parts just in case I have to go uh, earlier. But yeah, hopefully I can. I know I can cover this entire game live. Uh, if there's a third game, potentially, potentially not. I have no idea. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Well, this is nice to do recordings like this. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, so if you guys do enjoy something like this, please leave a like down uh, below. And I'll appreciate it. So he does stay, so Victory Bell does stay in and he goes for Sludge Bomb. He probably predicted the U-turn or some sort into something, but Kato actually stays in and goes for the Iron Head, which is kind of nice. Uh, either, now what could happen here is Megazard predicts uh, Kato to stay in again. He stay, it goes in the Quillfish, which is this, that, or he just doubles out onto Hitmonchan here. I have no idea, but that's one way events could go right now. So yeah, as I assumed, he doubles, he swaps down to Quillfish, but uh, Kato does stay in, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice to go on to him on Chan and threaten the thing out with a, what do you call it, Thunder Punch. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. But, yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking would happen. He would have to bring out a uh, cool fish there to conserve his uh, victory bell. So, yeah. But, if he is running his attack investment on that uh, Persian, then victory bell might be in the range of a Dark Pulse from Persian. So, he does set up spikes now. Uh, spikes from Megazard's side. Uh, on the field now so I feel like this thing can actually do a lot to damage the cool fish and not really care about what cool fish uh, does yeah the, I'm assuming it's the best of three so that actually does decent damage to cool fish we go for waterfall doesn't do too much because of fair coat so yeah that was the player that Kato probably had to make there uh 
yeah, because this is an offensive Persian, so that's actually going to do a lot of damage to Goldfish. So, I s feel like Victory Bell's in the range of a, uh, what do you call it? Well, him on Chan can actually just win the game because it just spams Mock Punch, especially with Spikes up as well. It will be enough damage to guarantee that Mock Punch kills both Sand Slash and Aurorus. So, he actually does bring out Aurorus here, and uh, he goes for Dark Pulse and kills it. Probably just wants to get some damage on the Sand Slash, but it doesn't seem like it's the Sand Slash, so I don't know if Icicle Crash has enough damage to kill. So, here he probably has to go for the Parting Shot, or this might be Sub uh, SD, uh, Hail Sweeper. So we'll see. I'm assuming it's going to be sub uh, hill sweeper with SD. So yeah. Well, now the game is kind of more even now. Uh, e more even than it was at the beginning of the game. Now we're moving into the later game. Well, it's the plays that might here really matter most. So I don't think Megazar goes for the attack if he has sub, honestly. But sub does get plus, uh, part shot does get, get plus sub, so he will be doing less damage against, uh, what do you call it? He does actually go for the attack, and he goes for the Z, so this is Black Hole Eclipse, and that might actually kill Sand Slash here. Yeah, and it goes down, so it is looking like k -Tuck can actually make a win here, actually, because if he brings out Cool Fish now, Cool Fish is going to take a lot of damage, and Victory Bell is probably going to die, so yeah, I think k -Tuck gets the win here, actually. Yeah, Kata actually does come through with the offensive Persian. So, yeah, that was an amazing first game, actually. Uh, Kata gets uh, the first win against Megazard here, which is quite good. That was a nice game to watch. Well played, Kata. Well played. Well played to Megazard as well. That was uh, pretty good uh, s stuff there. But it seems like the Persian was the win con of that game. So, yeah, good job to uh, Kata for winning that. Uh, so, we're going to wait until they post uh, game 2, guys. So, I will be back when that happens. And we are back for game 2, guys. And uh, Kata is up 1-0 uh, against Megazard. And if he does win this game, he will be the winner of the PU circuit. Can Megazard bring it back to try and beat Kata here? We'll find out in this game. This is the most vital game that Megazard has to play. If he wants to have a chance of getting the ribbon. And, yeah, so... K-Tuck brings this team, I think, I'm not sure if this is the team he used in semis or, like, this team feels oddly familiar, but Megzard does bring Stool, showing that he really does want to win this game, so he has a chance in game three. But K-Tuck does bring an interesting team, uh, he is using Throw, so, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, he is using Weezen, another one that has left us, which is quite sad, but, yeah. So, good luck to both of them, this, I know this is going to be a good game, again. Uh... Game 2? I'll just send that in the Discord. G2. Okay, so he leads off with Weezen here. Uh, Kata against Altaria. So, I wonder how Kata's uh, Storm matchup is against that team. He doesn't have any unaware... Oh, he has Quags out. Uh, but Quags... Yeah. Assuming everything can go well, uh, I think Weezen could win for Kata here. But yeah. So I think Kato's plan is probably to try and get up a uh, T spikes here, but uh, seems like he will have had to remove on the forms of Altaria and Articuno, probably double default here. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, uh, storm matchup. This might actually be, turn out to be a long name, uh, long game. I said long name, long game. <laughs> so he brings out Scun Tank here and he goes for Flamethrow here. Uh, not doing too much. Altaria is probably one of the most passive ones. Yeah. So he brings out Scun Tank here. Uh, I don't know what the plan is here against Altaria. Uh, probably just trying to get off some damage here. Uh, when it comes to the stall matchups, I have no idea because I don't use stall. Well, he does reveal himself to be physical defog. And he does get burned there, which is quite a shame because he's physical Scun Tank. And there's only a 10% chance of that burn, but... It's a shame that he got in the first place. But yeah, he's going to be doing less damage now, which is quite sad. But, you know, hacks is part of the game, is it not? Which is a shame. But hopefully there's a game free. I would like there to be a game free, actually. But yeah, if k can win here, we'll see. But now he's doing less damage while Tari gets poisoned. Uh, not that it matters, uh, to be honest, because Natural Cure, he just swaps out. But 
he's forced to roost at some point just to keep Altaria healthy here. But he's running leftovers, and that is normal poison, so it negates like the effect. So cool, cool. So, uh, I have no idea how this game's gonna go. Not gonna lie, I have no idea how this game's gonna go. But he brings out Weez in here, and uh, Altaria does roost here, uh, as I probably expected Megazar to do, because Altaria was getting a bit low there. So, Weez in is in again. I don't know what Weezin's goal is this game. Uh, probably trying to set up T-Spikes as I expected, but this is probably Default Kuno. So, uh, yeah, Default Kuno is just going to negate that. Does have a Carbink there. You don't see Carbink all the time, to be honest. Uh, probably, what does Carbink do there? Toxic. Again, I am not a stool expert, even in my own tier. That's how you guys know. But he does bring out Regirock. But the T spikes do disappear. Now Red Rock can do a lot of damage with Stone Edge uh slash rock slide against Kuno obviously because Kuno is four times weak uh to rock. So he does bring out ult here and he does go for the Thunder Wave against Altaria, which obviously doesn't mean much because again natural cure, but uh if Articuno decided to stay in for some really goddamn reason then it would have taken the T wave. But yeah, doesn't mean much to Altaria. He does go for a rock slide, which actually does a decent chunk. And he does get flinch, uh, which is quite a shame. But, you know, it's a hacks game. Pokemon RNG. Skuntan got to burn. Megazan got flinch. Uh, is What can you do? So he does swap out here into Ordino here. And he does start with rocks here, which is quite nice on K-Touch. But probably expecting uh, the switch. So now Kuno is going to be getting taken a lot of damage. I'm still hopefully assuming that... Uh, all is double defog just uh yeah double defog would be nice so he brings out throw here and he goes for knock off uh, probably knocking off its assault vest so he does show the assault vest throw uh i don't know what moves this thing could be running maybe storm throw uh what do you call it i have no idea what this uh, what the moves that could be running but he does reveal the assault vest assault vest <laughs> Kato always has to bring the niche mons and I love it man because he does win with the with this shit man so good last time we saw the assault vest uh, Mudsdale in semis and that freaking one shot Ordino with close combat so yeah uh, Megazard goes for the protect just probably trying to scout what Megazard uh, knows Megazard tr probably trying to scout what uh, Kato wanted to do there so he does show the knockoff so he's gonna have knockoff probably a fighting move fighting move uh, yeah man my nose is acting up man i'm just trying to commentate here man you get me man i'm really enjoying this series so if i was megazard would i swap out into like he doesn't have too much fighting resist on his team like apart from altaria altaria is legit he's only fighting resist but he actually brings out quacks out here and he goes for the knockoff against Quagsire, getting rid of its lefties, so that's some stuff gone. But yeah, Quagsire obviously goes for the toxic and go for the store uh scold, but again he does not want to go again for a toxic against uh Fro because again this is guts, so it's gonna Fro is gonna be doing more damage, so yeah, you don't wanna status Fro because this thing does have guts. So he So what's the play here? Maybe going for Earthquake if he has it uh scold again damage for if he gets burned that is not the best hmm. so he goes on to Weezing and doubles out and, and Megazar goes into Altaria he's probably gonna defog here he has to if he has it he has to have defog I think it's still double defog uh, in terms of this, uh, whew. yeah, it has to be, it has to be, come on, you definitely need to, like, Kuno can't switch into rocks well at all, Otario has a better job switching into rocks, but, but it still doesn't like doing that, so, yeah, it's gonna be a long game, we're still at turn 14, so he goes on to throw here, and he does go for defogs, so Otario does have defog there, uh, so he brings out Fro, and I don't know what Fro does here. Does Fro get any? 
um, moves that can actually hurt this thing. I'm thinking Poison Jab, thinking this like Mega Altar or the Fairy Typing, but still Dragon Flying. So, hmm. so he brings out Carbink here, and he goes for Knock Off again, just trying to get rid of everyone's items. So the passive recovery on Megazard's team is just slowly, slowly diminishing. So obviously, uh, if this has Moonblast or like Calm Mind or that shit, man, uh. Well, it is on the stall team, but I wouldn't be surprised to see, like, a calm mindset or something. So, uh, Frodo does have the type disadvantage. Ah, uh, man. Sorry about that. Frodo does have the type disadvantage. Uh, could feed a Moonblast, so he could swap out here into something. Uh, I don't know what k -top would swap out into. Exactly. Weezing. Skunk. Lilligan. Oh, so he does bring out Altaria, but k -Tot decides to keep staying in. So again, another one of uh, Megazard's Mons losing their defog. Not their defog, their leftovers. Oh my god. So k -Tot is a madman. He's a madman. He's he's constantly staying in. Well, you already see this ult's moveset. He's forced to roost. It's actually forced to roost if it wants to stay in because let's be honest, throw is not going to do you nothing to throw. If you get a potential burn, that sucks. You can't toxic because of guts. So he does roost here. So throw does go for the storm throw. It does a decent amount of damage, I guess, which I knew he had storm throw. So he keeps roosting, trying to get Altaria up. And storm throw does 36 here. Not doing too much, actually. Throw isn't the hardest hitting Pokemon but Storm Throw crits every time so you just hope it does a lot of damage so again it's, he goes for another Storm Throw and he does get a low roll there which kind of sucks he gets 31 there compared to 36 and 35 he was getting before he flame throws here okay he goes for Stone Edge ah oh, and the crit gets Megazard there that is that is uh that is a, a, a for unfortunate, quite unfortunate. He actually revealed the Stone Edge, and that was pretty. Yeah, he revealed the Stone Edge right there and there, and it crit. So that's unfortunate, very unfortunate for Megazard there, because I still think he's running Defog on. Uh, yeah, Megazard is not enjoying that at all. One time, he has. He, Megazard must be fuming. Like, oh, that is. That is really bad. I, sorry guys, I opened up Firefox for some reason. That is really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, oh man. The hacks. Real boy hacks. <laughs> I swear, like, Alt, Alt got flinched on the rock slide. And now he gets created by Stone Edge. Yeah, so he brings out Carbink now. Uh, against Fro. And again, is. Kato going to be your madman and stay in again. Try and go for Storm Throw, which will actually do okay damage because fighting is neutral against uh, Carbink. Or will Megazard go for the potential attack that he has on this Carbink, assuming it's Calm Mind. But he brings out Weez in here, and it is Calm Mind as I expected it to be, which could actually just auto win the game here, which is if Kato is not careful at all. So he does get out T Spikes and. K Tot does not care about Carbink setting up whatsoever here. Does not care, but he does need to be careful. Because Lilligant doesn't want to be taking a plus two uh, Moonblast at all. So, Carbink is in with a calm mind. And yeah. Was the play to T Spike there? I have no, I have no clue. I have no clue if that was a play to do. But yeah, look at everyone watching, man. We have we have everyone watching, man. But yeah, who he brings out Fro, and Fro actually takes that pretty well. It is Carbink? Carbink has no offensive stats at all. So Fro actually took that quite well. He's probably gonna try and get as much damage as he can with Storm Fro, at least or Earthquake. Yeah, this thing gets Earthquake as well. So he does go for Moonblast, and Fro is down. Probably enough damage for his Lilligant to come in, most likely, just to try and kill this thing, because that's the only way I think, uh, what do you call it, Carbink's going to die at this point. Uh, Z-move uh, from Lilligant. So yeah, he does bring in the Z-move from the Lilligant here. And am I seeing, am I seeing like some, 
One Piece references in these names? I have no idea, but I'm just, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Yeah. So Kato brings out the Lilligant here. Now, Metagal could, he doesn't want to swap out Carbink, but does Carbink die to Z move? He doesn't, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Unless he's going to sleep out of here and just start setting up exactly, then he'll have a chance of KOing. But I don't know. Uh, I can do some damage calc here, actually. So, assuming I have no idea if it's max for death or not. He, so, he does start setting up Quiver Dance. And, yeah, he lost his attack uh, boost, which sucks. But, yeah. Carbon did 39, and he is Giga Drain in there. Again, he goes for Moonblast. How much Giga Drain doing? 26. Is he not going to go for Sleep Powder here? Wouldn't that be kind of nice to go for? He brings out Kuno. He brings out Kuno. H3 Rock isn't going to do anything, especially at n n neutral. But at least he forced the car bank out, which is nice. Because that thing could have gone on a rampage if you weren't careful. But yeah, Kuno's in. Probably going to try and defog now. Yeah. It is going to defog. So he brings out Regirock. And he doubles out into Ordino here. Which does get poison. Uh, yeah, so. What does Ordino do here exactly? He's probably going to wish. Yeah, wish passing. Uh, so. Predict the wish cater and bring out Lilligant. So. And then start setting up. I think that's the play you do. Or you sell self rocks. Oh, or you poison. Oh, oh, oh. I was expecting the wish there actually. But. He actually does have the toxic against the Red Rock. Ah, uh, can I can my nose stop acting up for just a second while I'm trying to commentate, please? I want to commentate. Boy, so what happens here? The rocks are up. I still would know. Could wish try us. These nicknames. I would never understand these nicknames. Uh. I'll, I'll ask him about these nicknames. So he brings out Weezen. And he goes for knockoff here. Getting rid of uh, Weezen's Rocky Helmet. But Ordino is getting chipped down a bit. But since his normal poison is not going to rack up. Uh, so Weezen's in. Probably going to try and get off a second T-Spike. Hmm. So he brings out Red Rock here. And he goes for Wish. Uh, the play is to go Lilligan right now, unless you, you fear the Toxic, because I do think he wants his Carbon to come in at full HP, but if Megazard does predict k to to bring in Lilligan after the Wish, then yeah, you might stay in and Toxic. He brings out Weezen here, and Ordinary does stay in. Okay, so I still think k really wants that second T-Spike to be up. So Quagsire gets toxic, the Persian gets toxic, Carbon gets toxic. So I think he's really going for the second T-Spike here. Which would be pretty nice for him to have. So he goes for Sludge Bomb here and he wishes again. I don't know if you T-Spike here. You want to T-Spike here. Hmm. I have no idea. So he brings out Regirock, and again, he knocks off the Regirock's leftovers, but Regirock is toxic, so it is on the timer, especially without any of its recovery, uh, it's quite bad. Regirock's not in the best situation. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, man. Hmm. What does he do here? Just checking. OBS, OBS is recording. Yeah, that's recording. Has to be recording. <laughs> so he goes for Rock Slide. Does decent damage to Ordino. But I don't see what k trying to do here. And Teddy calls the Ordino is about to put in work. The most work. So he brings out Carbink here, and Carbink gets poisoned. Red Drew, oh, he went for the attack, and is enough to kill Carbink. So that is pretty nice. Carbink is down, and uh, what does he bring out here? Carbink is down, so 
Lilligan is free to rampage a bit afterwards. Okay, is anyone's is still anyone's game? I'm gonna get a break. Or I'm gonna die trying. Megazard's not giving up yet. Come on. You guys can you guys are playing well. Whoever wins or loses, you you played a good series overall. This last game and throughout the whole P circuit last year you all did well. But yeah. Anyways, Wooden is back in. He can't bring up Kuno. Persian doesn't do anything. Quagsire is literally free with Lilligan. Oh, he brings out Mesprit here. Uh, I have no idea what Mesprit said this could be. What's he going to do here? Could be an offensive Mesprit set. You never know what Mesprit's running. You can, you can never know. So he protects here just to scout what he's doing. And he does U-turn here. He really, uh, he does a U-turn into it exactly. Could be, yeah, he's, he's U-turning. And that crit, not doing too much though. But a crit is a crit at the end of the day. It's damage on Ordino. That he cannot, oh, he still has these lefties. Oh man. So Lily's in. And he does get knock off here. Well, Lily Lilligan's in. This game is easy. Easier, I mean, is if K Tuck keeps his Lilligan for Quagsa. Because that thing can't do anything. But does he go for the Z move here now? Or does, uh, what do you call it? Megazard predict the Z move coming and protect here. Either way, uh, Quiver Dance is potentially the play here. Just so, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, protect to scout what he's going to do. But it, it, it could be a free Quiver Dance here. Knockoff does 15. He'll live one. And then, yeah, we'll see. Because I still think this is going to be running a Hidden Power Rock. Yeah, cool. Ligon is in. And it can do a lot of work. Toxic on you can toxic. Hmm, what's the play? They're, they're, they're gonna have to think about this one for a bit. They have to think about this one for a bit. So yeah, he does go for dance there. And he does go for the toxic. Is he gonna toxic protect you? He's he's gonna have to. He's gonna toxic protect. He is proceeding to try and sweep with uh, Lilligant here. I do think that's healing with Mesprit, so maybe, yeah, he does protect the Kato. Yeah, I would have gone for another Quiver Dance. That was quite obvious. He was going to protect there no matter what. And, yeah, and I, I knew the Protector was coming. Kato should have known it was coming. Uh, What does he do here? Well... He's free to Giga Drain, unless Megazard wants to go for a double protect. Going for the Giga Drain is the more aggressive play here. Or the safe play is to go on to Mesprit. Gonna try and Healing Wish the Lilligan. If he has it. And yeah, that's the safe play. The aggressive play is to attack right now. And with Giga Drain and hope that you recover. Yeah, you're gonna recover enough health. For you to not die to toxic, but that's the aggressive play. Is K Tar gonna make the aggressive play or is he gonna make the safe play? Honestly, I'll go for the safe play. Yeah, you swap out. Go on to Quagsire. Oh, if he stayed in, that would have been utter mayhem for Megazard. If we stayed in and went for the aggressive play. Oh, that would have been really, really tight. But yeah, Quag is in. He brings out Mesprit here. And Quag's just going to recover. He does bring in Mesprit, so obviously the healing wish is probably coming in. He has to heal and wish the, uh, the Lilligant, man. That's his only way of winning. N not his only way of winning, but that's the best way he can win. So, if he ha he's most likely has healing wish on this, honestly. I, I, he has to. But Quagsire is in. I, I don't know if Quagsire was the play, because what does Quagsire do here, exactly? He, you bring out Ordino, and he does U-turn. So, 
Quagsire is poisoned. What's Kato's plan here exactly? I don't know. She brings out Weezen. I'm confused. I, I, I have no idea how this game is going. Man. No idea. So he just goes for the damage, I guess. Is Kator gonna try and get his second T spike up? Not that it matters because Quagsire is already poisoned and Presence is the only one that isn't hasn't come out on the field yet. So he does go out on Red Rock here and he does protect. So what's Red Rock's plan here? Red Rock's getting lower and lower now, which is annoying. Well, Megazar's comfortable playing with Stool. Is he open for flinches? Kator is going for the hacks, it seems like. Seems like he's going for the hacks. If I was Megazard, I would just protect. How much is Toxic doing next turn? 18. So that's doing 18 next turn. At least if he protects. How much Rooks are doing? 25. Not enough. So he brings out Quag. He goes and he stays in and goes for a rock slide. That's a free recover on on uh Quagsire there. He does uh bring out You're gonna he's gonna recover here. I, I would say go for Lilligan. Actually. No boy, it's way too low. It's way too low. Uh who do you bring here? Oh man. This is tough. He brings out Mesprit and he does recover there. So, Quagsire is in. Are you, is he going to reveal the healing wish now? Finally? Is he going to reveal it? By the way, time, time to just do some quick calcs. If he does have HP Rock, how much is that doing to Kuno? That's doing 39 to 46. Not too much. So, he does healing wish now, which I was expecting to see. So, don't he either brings out on his Red Rock or he brings out on his Ligand. Honestly, I think Ligand's a win con for this game, so he, he has to bring it out. Has to. Absolutely, absolutely has to. So, Megazard Toxic's here, obviously. Megazard has to Toxic. If he misses, then that's probably the worst thing that he can ever have in his life. Like, if he misses the Toxic here, or oh, the game, the game just gets even harder. And he lands the Toxic, which is quite nice. He lands a toxic. But Ligan's at full health. It's gonna take twelve next. He needs to get rid of this Ordino and he wins. With Lilligan. He can protect here. See where he protects this turn or he protects next turn. Either way, I'm fine with the Earth. I'm fine with uh Keita attacking this turn. Tough game, it's a tough game. It's very tough. Well, I think K-Tot's ready to win, actually. <laughs> Man, this game's gonna be very amazing. Ooh. I just was thinking about oh he brings out Kuno he brings out Kuno he brings out Kuno and he goes for another one the boy he goes out into Kuno the boy HP Rock is going to do a lot he he has to have HP Rock man like Ordino doesn't want to take that like I'm not gonna lie I don't think Ordino lives another one oh he goes for the Z move uh, Normalium Z ah. Oh. Cool. So he protects here. He has to protect here. Like just to stall out poison. He has to protect here. He's at plus two now. Boy. Kuno's down. He goes for Ah, oh, that actually heals him enough. 
Oh boy. Has Megazord fi has he given up? I think this one can win. But well, Toxic is really racking off a lot. He protects here, maybe? I have no idea. But he went for he went for the wish. He's gonna he yeah, he's protecting. Because he knows that doesn't kill. He has to protect. Unless he assumes that K Top's gonna go for another quiver dance, anticipating that protect. Yeah, he goes for the protect. And he, yeah. Yeah, if he set up if he set up a another uh what do you call it? Quiver dance, then yeah, I could safely say the game's done. But I can't say that anymore. I personally would have gone for another uh quiver dance there. He brings out Quag. Why? Oh, that drops. Oh boy. It's down to Persian and it's down to Ordino. What? Ordino. It comes down to PP store. Uh. Boy. Comes down. Uh, Weezin comes in. Oh, you. Oh, man. Mingazard's down to two mons. This game is coming down to the break soon. I swear. Oh, man. Huh. Like, you just have to try and PP stall out Ordino. And I think Kata eventually does or can win this game. Because Persian is there. The other gun's at 64, but toxic. Uh, Reggie Rock. Is that nine? Oh, it can be actually be close. It can actually be close. You can try and s mm, no, but Persian against uh, Lilligan, you taunt, but you go for the attack, and oh man, there's too much to be thinking about. How much does that do? Giga Drain is a two hit kill most of the time. Uh, it's a two hit kill. Foul play does thirty two max. And then, yeah. Cool. What does he go for now? What does he go for now? Hmm. It's a tight one. It's a tight one, isn't it? Very tight one. Ooh. Man, yeah, still accepting sound. Who? Hmm. Man, Megazard's in a tough position, but K Turk could be in a tough position if he doesn't make the right moves, honestly. So K Turk does bring on the timer actually. Uh, he does not want to wait for prisoners. It's too much. He does not want to wait. Like, it would be sad if this game was down to timer. But I doubt Megazard would let the timer go down to zero, honestly. But, you know, it's it's going to be on anyways. Uh, has Megazard gone to AFK? Or is he just really thinking about his next move? Because it seems like Keita has made his move now. So he does stay in with uh, Ordino, but he does wish again. He does have uh, 8 wishes left, 11 on Protect. Knockoff doesn't do much damage, so I don't really count it, but he, it counts as PP. He will always stay. I think he's just Loki trying to PP stall out the Ordino here. So this is going to be part of the story, it's part of the game, but he ha he has to. He has to find a way to stall out Ordino, but I think the game can be done in a couple of turns, maybe in like 10 turns, or more than that actually. But he has to wish it. Yeah, Kato just wasting his uh, PP here. He still has 11 on Sludge Bomb. He has to kind of conserve his PP if he wants to try and PP stall Weezen versus Ordino. Hmm. Huh. Man, does, does, uh, 
Los Mangos, yeah, he goes for flame for. Oh, he does have another attack actually, so that's even more PP offensively that he can use against. Yeah, so he can PP store this thing out potentially, and then yeah, so he goes for Starch Bomb again. He wishes. Well, if he got that second T spike up, it would have been really, really tight for all of Megazard's mons. I, I think the game could be over if uh, Thing actually uh, had two T spikes up, but you know it didn't happen. He Kato does have any. He had throw to knock off, but uh, didn't get the knock off on Ordinary, which would have been nice because no more passive recovery. But Weezing slowly going down slowly going down sludge one does do more damage because the stab but he's forced to wish again he's on five wishes so once the wishes run out he only has five left so the, we just have to wait to be honest it's just the stool part of the game well, we can't really pre prevent that from happening if it's boring then you can't blame me megazard decided to bring stool so we just have to wait on and see what happens he's trying to get rid of the wishes that's all i'm telling you guys so just watch and see how the battle goes that's what i'm saying Okay, Kato is playing pretty good. And Skun Tank is still around. But I feel like he needs an additional mon to deal with Persian. Or this goes to uh, game 3, which is pretty. Eh. Hmm, 45, 47. Ordinary keeps uh, like Ordinary has to keep wishing. He brings out Scun Tank actually, so he does actually want to preserve his Weez in here. But a burn on the Scun Tank really does suck because uh, he's just, he, he's just doing less damage overall. But that's the early game. Can't really do anything about that. One ten seventy now. Again, he has he has generally more PP than Ordinal. He's gonna find a way, depending on how much Poison Jab is actually gonna do. So he doubles out into Weezing here, and he brings out. He finally decides to bring out his Persian and his Poison. Cool. So what does Persian do here? As I said, this does 32 max to L Lilligant. But well, now he's Persian's toxic, and it's just gonna be way. See, so wishes here. Oh, so he does bring in Lilligan on this turn, and he QDs. He has to QD. QD is always the play. He knocks off here, so he decides to swap out with Lilligan. Whew. So Weezing's getting chipped down even more. So, yeah. He's going for the attack. He has three wishes left. A few more. And k can successfully just try and just... Luki just beat the Ordinal and then he can win. I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm biased for K-Top, but he is playing pretty well. And uh yeah, it it wouldn't it would be nice to see K Top win. Like he's came into the community out of nowhere to be honest and then he got good at the meta. Uh he got good at playing. So yeah. Wooden knows low he's on two wishes now. He has to protect, obviously. Yep, the protects there. He goes for flamethrower not to waste any sludge bomb PP. And now he's on two, and that number just, uh, what do you call it, comes back. Yep. K uh, Megazard on his last wish, and then uh, pretty much Odino is, go is going down. So, yeah. It's good stuff. So he goes for Flamethrower here. He goes for Knockoff. And now... Skuntank can just whittle down thing, Persian. 
it, like Scun Tank, Persian can't beat Scun Tank. It doesn't matter if it's burned. But yeah, I think it'll like I don't want to say it yet until it's confirmed that I see the K Tot has won the battle to say that he's the winner of the PE circuit. But yeah, the about the the wait is almost over, guys. It's almost over. Ooh, this is probably been one of the longest videos I've ever gonna make, but you know, uh, I'm I'm happy to be making this video to uh, covering this content. It's pretty nice. So he not all. Oh, he didn't wish. Has Megazard officially given up? He hasn't wished. Is he just willing to sack this one now? Ordinary's down. Persian is the last one. It's going to finish off Weezing here. As long as, what do you call it? Persian is in the range that, that, that range, then it's pretty much GG, I could say. So he goes for Dark Pulse here. And Poison is racking up, so it won't be that hard to get him into the 2 hit KO range. He's Dark Pulse. There's a way of k -Tot losing if he gets freaking hacked. At least, if he gets hacked, then... Yeah, that's just sad. Lord Shane Ghoul has already said he's won. <laughs> oh, man. So he brings out Lilligant here. Yeah, the game's done. If he... Megazar couldn't go for the flinches, I guess. If the flinches want to happen, I guess. But it seems like the game's finally uh, coming to a close. He doesn't get flinched. <laughs> like, the hacks part, he sorts out Red Rock. Yeah, he's just constantly trying to lower uh, Persian's health. So, yeah, he's sacking once. So, Ligant's in again. And, yeah, he's in the range. He's in the range. He's going to die to one Giga Drain if. Assuming that he. Oh, he goes for the Z move. Yep, that's dead. Oh, boy. D. I wouldn't say that's throwing. No, scan you can't damage scan tank too much. Oh. Yeah, now this is getting even closer. He has T Bolt. How much is T Bolt doing? 31. Low roll and K Tot wins. Oh, it's close. It's close. Ah, he dies. Oh, Megazard. He managed to pull it in. He managed to pull in game two. Wow. That's pretty... Wow. Wow, that was very close game. Very close game. Oh boy. That game went on for such a long time. And then it ends like that. I completely thought Kato could have won, but they were both running offensive Persian. No... Offensive Persian was on the freaking side. That was... Ah... Uh, that. 29 to... Yeah. That's... Boy. That was... Uh, that was pretty close. But yeah. I'll see if I can cover game 3, guys. If I can't, then I'll just say I'll end the video now. But I'll make another part to that. But yeah. I'll be back for game 3. We're finally on game 3, guys. And K took the size to bring weather. That's pretty nice. Ah, uh, nice. K Tot decides to bring weather. And he has victory bow. Uh, oh, God. And they set moderated chat. Rip. <laughs> Rip. But yeah, this is the last game of the playoffs. Uh, good luck to both players. Uh, so we're going to be covering this again. So k -Tot does have Sun here, and yeah, he just wants to <laughs> a wild swanner. <laughs> Man, so the weather matchup, he doesn't have anything that can really stop it, to be perfectly honest. Like, is Victory Barn leafy on clicking buttons? Uh, yeah, and Timmy's here doing some stuff as well. But yeah, I, I believe that uh, 
yeah, whoever wins wins. Yeah, that's what I got to say. How is Megazar gonna handle weather? The fire resist this Swanna. No, Victory Ball can actually just one shot Swanna with uh, Solar Beam, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's my phone. <laughs> Swanna. Solar Beam one shots, anyways. Oh, he missed Leech Storm. Oh boy. But he does. Red Rock has sturdy. It lives one attack. Oh, yeah. So Megazord gets hacked. Turn one. <laughs> That's actually grim. <laughs> That's actually grim. Yeah, you just explode now. That's actually. Yeah. That, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know how much that sucks for Megazord. It's over for real. Great, great. Hacks turn one. Just what he needs. Rip. <laughs> Megazard is having the best luck right now, I swear. He's having the best. He missed Lee Storm. Well, Megazard, no, uh, uh what do you call it? Red Rock actually outspeed. So, Explosion does that much, so it doesn't even matter who he brings out now. He could bring out, uh, what do you call it, Victory Bar and just win from here. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Swanna gets one shot. That gets one shot by Weather Ball. Everything else just doesn't take any attacks well, apart from Mesprit. So it brings out Simita, actually, which fire attacks are going to be boosted. Does this thing get Solar Beam? Well, Flareon's the only fire attack that doesn't get Solar Beam, I, I think. Uh, Simita should get Solar Beam, I think. Yeah, get Solar Beam. Good for Flamethrower, actually. It's quite nice with a Fire Blast. Because you are running uh, Sun. And Fire Blast, no, Flamethrower actually isn't that bad of a move. So you bring that Primate, which is most likely Scarf. Uh, that's probably why I don't like that. If a Fire Attack got Chlorophyll, then it would be broken. But he goes for Stone. Yeah, you have to sack that. You have to sack that. It doesn't really matter. Leafeon can just win. Plus two. Plus two Leafeon can win. Well, he brings out victory ball. Uh, this thing can do a lot of damage as well. Solar beam, yeah. It, solar beam just does so much. He goes for growth actually. Boy, yeah. The game, the game can be done in a couple of seconds. Just click weather ball. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, that's that's just dead. And he has ball beat in the back as well. No, he has priority in uh, Scun Tank in the case that uh, Sucker Punch. Well, we'll see how much Sucker Punch does. 42 to 50. Uh, it's at 45 right now. Uh, this is a roll, I think. 45. That's a 68% chance to Oko. He does go for Sucker Punch and he goes for Strength. The boy! This man is crazy! K Tut! Oh boy! Oh god! Oh goof, <laughs> oh goof, oh goof, oh, man, this is, no, I did not see, I did not see, I did not expect growth or the strength sap. Oh boy, he doesn't even have solar beam, the boy is in, oh, weatherball, yep, that drops, oh, Kater, the man himself. Beam, you have to be running solar beam. That's your strongest stab. You have to be running solar beam. But yeah. Oh god. K top man, the man himself. Oh this swanner. Well, anytime you see a one that just outspeeds you, you just bring up Persian, you bring up Volbeat, the game's done. Time to send this again. Oh, Megazard's in probably one of the toughest decision, uh, toughest matches. Oh, Kato has been bringing the heat. He's been bringing the strong battles. My days, Kato, man. Honestly, you've been giving me quality content. So I thank you. Megazard's been a good opponent as well. 
good players that are playing. What's his choice here? I have no idea. You either bring out Swanner or you bring out Skun Tank. And Skun Tank does 58 max and it one shots you. So Swanner is the play. It doesn't matter. Swanner is the play. So if it like Megazard, if he has Z Rain Dance, then that's just fucking heat. I doubt it though, but if he does, that's that's fucking heat. You swap out here always. You always swap out into Persian. Like you don't wanna you don't wanna risk Leafeon, unless you think you don't need Leafeon for this game. Cause what does Leafeon hit? Uh, Sand Slash with nothing. Uh, yeah. Ah oh, man, it's good to see good old weather. Yeah, that's the play. Hurricane, you set up. I love. Yeah, your scarf was prime. Maybe set up rain down. You set up sunny day here. I'm thinking this is like this uh fast abuser uh set setter. Yeah, it does. So again, that comes in goes for solar beam. Yeah, I think Kata can win the series. Yeah. Are oh, you were being sneaky? Boy, this is this is almost fifty users in here, man. So much is going on. Someone posted RMT you featuring Yeeks and a lot of scrubs used it, alas. I told you guys, we're gonna get Yeeksy. Like by the time this video that like, comes up, my Yeeksy stats discussion video is gonna be up. Yeeksy, we all got Yeeksy, but no, are oh, you took it? Are oh, you took it from us? We gained nothing. But anyways, back to the battle. Uh no. <laughs> Minio does not deserve a quick ban. It's a it's a good mon. Some people are saying it's better on paper than it is in practice, but uh, it's only been one day. It's only day one. Uh, we need people to use it. So, I don't know, like. It's just that standstill with Kata AFK, as Megazard AFK. Either way, you click Sunny Day, and Megazard can't do anything about it. How did Gastrodon go from OU to PU? A quick cruise. Oh my days. Hmm. It went straight from to OU from PU. So, so it has Sunny Day. Zine Rain Dance. I fucking knew it. I called it. I called it. I freaking called it. Knew it. Knew it. I knew it. I called it. I said in my head, imagine if this guy had Z Rain Dance on the Swanner. I called it. Mothers. Oh, that's not looking good for K-Tot. No, no, no. It's not looking good for K-Tot. Wait. Here's the plan. Yeah, that died. Oh, how does... This doesn't outspeed Vicky and Sandu, does it? Because Volby gets up... Yeah. But... Boy, boy, man. At this point, you just keep spamming rain dance. Plus one swan, it doesn't outspeed plus two victory bell. Boy, this is a huge 
chain of events, man. I called it. I knew Megazord was going to have Z Marine Dance, man. Called it. And guess what? He's using it. I swear. I swear down. This series have been amazing. He encored. Ho! Oh, this is next level. What does he do here? He has to encore. Welp. I had hope. <laughs> I had hope. <laughs> yeah, I think this series is over. You ain't seen Victory Bell stab move though. Oh boy. No one saw this coming. He sets up Sunny Day. Ha oh, the game's done. The game's done. You just U turn here, man. You just U turn here. The game's done. Oh, he got flinched. Not that it matters. You just U turn. The game the game's done. Keita, the king himself, he manages to pull in a win. This, my boy, Keita, man, well played. Well played to Keita indeed, man. Like, this has been an amazing series. Ah, oh, man, yeah. GG to both. Brings out Swanna, that dies. It, yeah, Swanna does. That's heat rock. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The game's done. Yeah, K-Tart wins. Ah, man. Boy. This is going to take a while for me to render, but I don't care, man. It's all worth it. It's worth it. How much does Solar Beam do to Scun Tank? You know it's physical. No, it doesn't even matter. Just go for a weather ball. It dies. Absolutely gets demolished. Doesn't matter. Yeah. He goes for soccer. Weather ball. Yep, the game's done. GG to Kata. Come on. That was well played. Reveal eye shard. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Well played. Kata is the winner. He is the winner of the PU playoffs. Kata has won. Grats Kata. Great series. Great series. Great series. Ah. Oh, amazing. Well done, Kata. You you played really well. Props to Megazard as well. He put up a good fight. Especially game two. Game two was pretty close. I was not expecting Megazard to win that one. But he actually came through. But yeah. Good job, Kata. Good job, Kata. Oh man, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys actually stayed to watch in the video, I'll leave timestamps in the video because I don't think you guys deserve to watch for an hour of that shit unless you really want to, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.